Okay, so I've just done another loop stitch. So we've now got two of the loop stitches. Let's have a go at teaching this again. Through the front of the stitch, as if you're doing an ordinary knit, round, through, and then just keep that bit of stitch on the front, the left hand needle. Okay, pop your thumb there. As if you're just doing an ordinary knit, but round your thumb and back. So now we've got the loop, okay? And then knit into the front of that stitch that was left and pull through. So we now have two stitches instead of one on the right hand needle. Transfer that loop onto your right hand index finger. There it is. So now we've got four on there and one, two, three, four, five on that. We've got to make it into four. So here we are, we knit almost as if it's a pearl, but the wrong way around. Take the first one and take the second one. You'll probably think, what is the point in doing this? But honestly, it's so worthwhile when you get this stitch right. Just don't start watching an exciting television program because you'll drop all your stitches like I did just now. Um, so it's just getting this onto there. So now we have two double stitches on there. Transfer it back onto your thumb, knit, whoops, through, woo, and there we go, and off. There's three. Let's have another go. So knit into the front, yep. Round, through, pop the right hand needle behind the left. Here's where you loop it round your thumb and round. Bring it back to the front and knit into the remainder of that first one. Round and off, halfway there. Sorry about the clicking. There, now we've got to knot it and keep it safe. So here we are, we go into the front of the first stitch. Now, honestly, no one had made it easy to see how to do it on the internet. So I'm determined that people will understand how to do this because it's so worthwhile doing when you've got it. It's probably going to take me so long just to do one stitch that will run out of space on everybody's phones. But there we are. Okay, so we've got two lots. Transfer that loop back onto the left thumb. <laughs> Knit through and off. There you are. There is your loop stitch. Then you pull it tight and it creates a knot. And so it, it will keep it safe and it won't unravel when your dog is alive. So just reminding you again what it looks like. There's the paw <laughs> and there's the leg with all its fluffy stuff. Okay, so there we are. There's your loop stitch. Good luck. <laughs>